Hello there guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today, um, continuing what we started about two weeks ago, we're going to be taking a look at the post-recent Longhorn builds. And this is going to be the end of the sort of uh, little mini-series that we started. Um, and I feel like I say that a lot because I, I, I do start, um, you know, mini-series from time to time here on the channel. But um, this one is just a, a two-part series. However, they're very, pretty long videos. This one's probably probably going to be pretty long as well. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll have it on screen right now as well as uh, down below in the video description. But essentially what we did is we took a look at the pre-reset Microsoft Longhorn builds. Um, essentially before um, Microsoft reset uh, Windows Vista's uh, development. And if you don't really know what I'm talking about, I, I go over the whole process in that video. So if you don't really know what's going on, I would recommend going to check out that video. Again, the link's going to be down below. Um, but today we're going to be starting off, I have uh, selected four post-reset Windows Longhorn builds. And this is going to be kind of slowly forming itself into Windows Vista, you know, the final release of uh, Windows Vista that was released in 2006. And these builds are after that 2004 reset. So again, as I uh, said before in that previous video, Windows Vista really only had a um, major, I guess, uh, development cycle of about two years because everything else that they had uh, uh, developed before, they didn't really keep that you know that much of it. They kept you know um, a few things. You'll see in this build that we are about uh, to, to, to take a look at here. They've kept a few things, but the majority of the stuff was being phased out and just completely gone entirely. Um, so this build, build 5048, this was released um, around 2005. It has a, a BIOS date of April 2nd, 2005. So it was uh, released um, around that time. And we're going to just uh, start it up here and I'm going to uh, show you guys what has changed in this build. There's going to be some major changes, you know, from the last build, which was, I think, 4093. Um, and in, in 4093, if you don't really mean, well, and kind of the pause to what I'm saying, you'll see that it has the same Longhorn boot screen as it had before. So that's one of the things that hasn't really changed. But, you know, anyways, as I was saying, um, 4093, they kind of took everything that they were working on up to that point, whether it was finished or not, and they put it into that final build because, you know, really it wasn't going to see the, uh, like the light of day any other way pretty much. So they just said, okay, we're just going to take all the features we have, even if they're not finished or partially working, we're going to throw it in, uh, into this build. And that's pretty much what it was. It was the last, um, Longhorn build before Microsoft reset uh, Windows Vista's development. So you may have briefly noticed there that it had um, the Windows XP uh, classic uh, little logon box, and I'll show you that again. But um, essentially what they did to kind of uh, reset development is they actually went back to their base source code. And the um, pre-reset builds, um, I believe they were based on um, Windows Server 2003. There were some people saying it was based on XP, but however, there was um, a few other people saying that it was based on an early version of Server 2003 code. Um, so it, it's based on one of those, and all the post-reset builds used uh, a later version of Server 2003 as a uh, code base. I believe Microsoft released like Service Pack 2 of Server 2003, um, and then this is what that is based on um, as a you know foundation, and that's what Windows Vista obviously is based on as well. Now, you'll see that it closely, you know, this looks more like Windows XP than I think even the first early Longhorn build that we, uh, you know, took a look at in the uh, previous video, the very first build that I looked at. Um, it had similarities to XP, but then it had some very major changes. And this, you're you're going to see pretty much like it has a same, a similar theme. I mean, the, the theme is different. However, it is... Um, you know, like looking like it is uh, Windows XP with a, a different theme just at first glance here. You'll see that they've kept some of the icons. So this is the Windows Vista, or it, it looks very similar to the final uh, re recycle bin icon in Windows Vista. Um, but some other things like these here have have not changed. Um, also of note is a, a newer wallpaper here. I th This does look familiar 
I'm thinking this is this, this may actually be um, from Windows Server 2003. I mean, I, I might go on a limb to say that, but I, I have seen this very wallpaper somewhere before. It's not in this, like it wasn't in this uh, build. I don't think it's in Windows Vista, so it might be from Server 2003. I really don't know. So we're just gonna take a look at uh, Winver here, and I'll show you that this is a version 6.0, NT 6.0. I guess this has changed actually, this banner. I, I don't previously, or I, I don't think we had that previously. Um, so one of the major overhauls is uh, the, well, not really a major overhaul, but one of the things they did change is the uh, Windows Start menu here. Now, Windows XP, you, I'm sure you all know what the Windows XP uh, Start menu looks like. Um, here is kind of when they started to uh, experiment with some new things and kind of making it look more like the Vista Start menu. In the previous build, if you don't remember, the Start menu looked almost identical to Windows XP, so they kind of went back to that. But here you'll notice that we have a uh, experimental search function here. And Windows Vista obviously had a, a final version of this. However, this one doesn't really work very well. One of the things I, because I used to use uh, Windows Vista on one of my older machines. Um, one of the things that I would use this for is kind of uh, like a uh, run box, pretty much. Like if I wanted to uh, quickly get to uh, you know CMD, for example, I just open the start menu type CMD and press enter and I launch you know CMD just you know kind of faster than pressing Windows key R and then typing in CMD and everything it was just faster and more convenient um, this doesn't really do that and actually do doesn't really search things very well either um, so as you just saw if I type CMD you know it doesn't even show anything here and you know when I typed in C like it'll yeah it, it, it just doesn't really work uh, if I search for let's like, say my yeah, see, I search the word my and it comes up with all these other random things that don't have the word my in them. So, yeah, it doesn't really work very well. You'll see we kind of have some uh, evidence of Windows Explorer up here for some reason. We can sort them by size and stuff. That doesn't work either. So they were kind of uh, experimenting with that. Uh, it's sort of unified search thing. Um, and we had not, you know, there was no other version of Windows that had that, you know, at least built into the start menu. There was obviously the search uh, program, like right here. Um, and I don't think this works. Like, this is completely broken in this build, too. Yeah, you see, it doesn't work at all. Um, one of the other things that note, I, I probably should open up a, a Windows Explorer window for this. Um, they've slightly changed the way that Windows Explorer looks. However, that what I wanted to you know, pay notice to is this up here. There's another search box. This one doesn't work either. We'll search my. It gives us an error and or, or like an error sound and there's nothing. So yeah, they were kind of getting the search thing in place. Windows Vista did have this and I use this feature because this is obviously still on Windows 10. I use this feature all the time. It's, it's very convenient for like finding files in like large folders or, or folders with a lot of files. Um, or you can index your uh, entire C drive, and that's what I use it for sometimes if I want to find a certain file. Okay, so we are back. We were having a bunch of technical difficulties yesterday. Um, first of all, uh, Camtasia Studio decided to crash, and it cut off um, part. Like it didn't even give me any warning, and it cut off like ten minutes of uh, like what I was saying. Um, so I had to kind of redo that, and I used the Open Broadcaster, and then Open Broadcaster crashed. Um, so this is basically my third take of doing kind of the same thing. So, um, but I, I'm going to try to, you know, like spend it, like, as much time doing it as I was before. Um, but I'm using uh, Camtasia, Camtasia Studio, but I'm, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. So if it suddenly stops m making the video, then I'll, I'll know why. But it's just been acting weird lately. But um, it cut me off, I think, when I was talking about the search function. Um, you know, like this search box down here and the search box in uh, Windows Explorer. I was kind of talking about that. And then what I was going on to is one of the new features or like they, uh, Microsoft redid the Windows control panel in this build. And you, you can see here, this is the new uh, category view. And what they've done here is essentially try to make it look more uh, like they, well, I wouldn't say make it look more like uh, Windows Vista because Windows Vista obviously wasn't out like but or out yet, but they're kind of moving towards the Windows Vista uh, simplified design. Now, if you uh, remember what Windows Vista uh, control panel looks like, um, it looks pretty similar to this. This isn't the the final um, 
uh, like design obviously but it looks pretty similar it's got uh, like you know different categories they're um, arranged in this way and you have like uh, sub options here so it'll be like okay you want a, like a appearance and a theme and and you can say that well if I want to change uh, like my screensaver well I can just click this this one option right here instead of having to go into the actual setting and then looking around for screensavers in here which isn't really that much of a hassle but they, they've just done this to kind of find or, or to kind of make the um, most commonly used options more easily accessible by users and, that, and that's kind of what they've done here um, we also have uh, th these uh, side options here and I think they're pretty much the same uh, categories as up here we see uh, uh, appearance and themes and then appearance and themes on the left here so we have like the same categories um, and then we have other control panel options and these are just the ones that, that they don't really have sorted yet um, and then we also have this uh, uh, classic view now they've kind of redone this as well now and I'll just kind of show you what I mean here uh, the classic view has also kind of been moved into uh, separate categories this was not kept in the final release of uh, Windows Vista they did not keep um, this you know final build I guess or, or, or this final design it was just because the the classic view in Vista is pretty much just like a list of all um, of the settings or of uh, all the different options here they've kind of tried to make them into their like their own categories but some of them are like, kind of useless because like so we see the like these three up here they're uh, categories and they're the same name as like the actual uh, setting like see uh, like, well not for this one but see we have add or remove programs and then the program name is add or remove program so it's kind of like a useless category but you'll see that 21 of them down here are not like they're unspecified so they're they're not really uh like I, I guess they haven't found or, or they haven't arranged those into uh, specific categories yet and one thing of note here is there is this uh, new setting called OS and application updates now if you uh, remember in the final build of Windows Vista Windows updates are actually done through the uh, control panel instead of being done through Internet Explorer like they are in Windows XP um, and I think that Microsoft moved to that to kind of make getting updates easier for most people that were kind of confused, I guess, when you would uh, click a Windows update from the start menu and it would open up um, your like web browser. I guess they kind of wanted to make it more simple and make it like, like, like an actual program stored locally uh, on the actual computer. And this is them kind of uh, starting to do that. Uh, the program like is not really finished at all. It has this uh, very like generic icon. For some reason, it moved over here, and you can see we don't have any options in here either. We do, however, uh, have these four headings up here where we can like see that they that this would be uh, just like Windows Update is. We see we have uh, like what update it is, um, what program it's for, who it was made by, and when it was uh, installed on. Obviously, there weren't any Windows updates like made for this uh, specific build of Longhorn, but uh, there it is. And we see we have a few other things that are using this same icon, so I'm just not really sure why they... I mean, I, I, I guess they just didn't really have like an icon made for it. And it's also called OS and Application Updates instead of Windows Updates, so I guess they were kind of trying to change the, the, the name there very briefly. Um, of course, that was not final as well. Uh, system. We go in here, you see we have Microsoft Windows codename Longhorn version 2003. Um, so you can see that even though this is like a 2004, 2000, uh, yeah, this is a 2004 build, however, it's saying it's uh, 2003. Um, and I, I don't think Microsoft or Windows was a registered trademark prior to this, but that's just a small note. And also, uh, one of the experimental features in this, uh, in this build of Longhorn, there is actually a experimental version of Arrow, um, Arrow uh, Animations, the desktop window manager actually I should say. Um, if you're not familiar with the desktop window manager, essentially um, it's the like under the hood program that runs in the uh, background of like even Windows 10 today, but in uh, back in Vista and 7, it was the program that would allow um, the desktop like uh, like animations like when you would maximize and uh, minimize windows it, it, it would do that like a uh, nice little animation and uh, obviously arrow glass uh, transparency that is the program or the uh, under the hood program that would allow that to happen and, and if you kill that process at any, at any time it's gonna stop 
and it's going to go back to the uh, Windows Classic theme. There is an experimental version of DWM or the Desktop Window, Window Manager in this build of Longhorn, and we can actually get it working using uh, this command that I'm going to run here. So there we go. You can see that it actually is uh, kind of transparent here. I had to reinstall uh, the actual VM because it wasn't really working right. But you'll notice that, yeah, we have a sort of uh, arrow glass uh, transparency here. Now, some of the animations, there is supposed to be when you uh, minimize and maximize the window, there is supposed to be a nice little uh, animation. And I got it to work at one point. It's not working anymore for some reason. See if I open up, yeah, see, it, it's not working. It just like slowly renders the window. And I tried uh, increasing the RAM size from one to two gigs, and that didn't do anything. So I think it's just very buggy, but you can kind of see here that we do have a sense of uh, glass uh, transparency here, which this actually wasn't working before. I'm gonna be totally honest. It wasn't uh, transparent at all before. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what, I mean, again, it's really buggy. Uh, it doesn't work at all. Well, I mean it obviously kind of works, but it's like highly unstable I should say so this is obviously a feature that you weren't really meant to use, but It does you know function uh, In a sense so yeah, you can kind of see here like if I put this window on top of the text here you can kind of see uh, That string from the CMD through there, you know, so yeah, that's that's basically all that it is it doesn't do anything uh, to the start menu or to the taskbar it's only really windows that it actually changes we'll open up uh, internet explorer here actually we won't we'll open up uh, another explorer window here and yeah it, it sucks it's not doing that like uh, minimize and maximize animation because it's actually pretty cool and it's not like anything that you would see in uh, vista it's you know completely different so i'm not really sure why that's not doing that but uh, that is probably a bug, and it's probably because I'm making this video, because everything seems to break on video, but, um, yeah, that is essentially it for this build, uh, 5048. Again, I'm not trying to spend so much time on, on these builds, but I always tend to, um, because they're just always, and, and, you know, I've spent, like, a day, because this is, like, the next day, because of the amount of time that I've had to, like, with, like, all these uh, technical issues and stuff, but, uh, we're just gonna shut down Windows here, um, also of note, uh, notice how it goes back to the XP style uh, uh, logon screen, or, or, or not the logon screen, um, the uh, shutdown box. Also, this will happen. It'll uh, tr try to end run DLL32. This only happens when you uh, run the uh, ex uh, experimental arrow thing. It takes a while for it to, I think you have to just kill it from task manager. But the next build we're going to be going on to is 5 one one two fifty one twelve um this build has a date of july 21st 2005 that is the bios date there was also a server build for this um, but this is the client build and one thing of note in this build this is actually the first uh beta like release of windows to ever be called windows vista However, there's a lot of uh, Longhorn references, even the actual boot screen, as you can see, still says codename Longhorn. But this is the first um, build to be designated the name Vista, and this is a Beta 1 build. This is the first Beta 1 build. Everything else has been like a milestone something. I think the last one was a milestone 7 or 8. Alright, so here we are in Windows Longhorn build 5.1.1.2. And uh, one of the things that I, I want to uh, pay uh, notice to in this build is the uh, new welcome screen and you'll kind of see here that it looks obviously very different than it did before in the last build because that was just uh, the XP classic style login which was in obviously uh, Windows XP and Microsoft through Windows or through Windows Longhorn's uh, development they've kind of changed around and uh, experimented with some different um, designs of the actual uh, logon screen or the welcome screen or whatever you that you want to call it um, but this here is just you know pretty simple you just obviously log in like that and you, you can see that I was kind of messing around with some stuff in here before um, well we'll just restart the uh, computer here because this this one of the things about this is a very unstable build um, and that's one of the things that I've and I'm not sure if that's just because of something I'm doing because I'm 
using it in a uh, virtual machine. I'm not really sure, but it's been really unstable and slow. And obviously that doesn't really make it well for video. But uh, one of the things that I can, I'm just gonna do a force reset. So one of the things that I can talk about while it's uh, booting back up here is the new Windows setup. This got a complete overhauled Windows setup like you, when you're actually uh, installing the OS onto your computer. And it looks pretty similar to, uh, like it has the same design as the uh, welcome screen that we just took a look at. So here we are, we are now uh, booted back up into uh, build 5112. And pretty much the only major change on the desktop here is the new theme. Now this is still called the um, arrow theme, but they've, they've obviously kind of changed it around. Now there is a darker uh, start bar, or not start bar, a darker task bar down there. And some of the icons like th uh, this one right here and the recycle bin, you can now have like larger icons. We have an HTML document. This is a uh, learn more about Avalon and Indigo. I actually haven't looked at this yet, um, but this is a yeah pre pre release software code named Avalon Indigo. So Avalon, uh, if you remember from the pre reset build, was that new way of uh, developing applications that they were trying to trying to kind of push to their developers at the time. And Indigo is something that I haven't really heard of yet, but apparently it's for um, like service oriented uh, communications infrastructure for web service protocols. These were two, I guess, APIs, you could call them, that they were working on at the time. Um, we, I did mention in the previous build that um, Avalon got merged into another project that they were working on. Indigo, I'm not really sure what happened to it. Um, but yeah, that's the first time that I noticed that uh, on the desktop. We also have this uh, install supplemental drivers. This is for um, this doesn't work in the VM, but it, uh, apparently what this would do is install drivers for a certain like physical computer if you were using this on a physical computer. Um, the actual start menu looks kind of similar to the way that it did before in the previous build that we looked at. Now that's in this video. I, I know I'm kind of j jumping around with like what I'm you know previously referencing, but uh, the major thing that has changed is kind of the bottom part here. We have uh, some newly designed uh, shutdown and lock buttons. And this actually has the thing where you can click on the arrow next to it and get other uh, shutdown options. So it's kind of doing away with the Windows XP thing where you would click on shutdown and then it would bring up a menu saying, do you want to log off shutdown or restart? This is obviously getting rid of that. So you just have to click this one time and it shuts down. Same for this lock button right here. Uh, the search bar is still broken. It obviously got a little bit thinner. They like, like kind of fixed the the um, like uh, di like display bug they were having before in the previous build where it was like showing as really large. They've obviously fixed that. However, it doesn't really work. And the the first time that I tried to use it, it just crashed the VM. It seems to be working a little better now, but um. Yeah, I'm just I'm not really gonna go into that because of the fact that it crashed the VM before I think two times, and I don't really uh, want to risk that happening again. But it still isn't really functional, um, but it, it's just there. So they were kind of working on that, I guess, at the time. Something else, if we open up the Windows Control Panel here, and I also notice this like nice little uh, hover, like I guess you would say highlight over all these icons. That looks a little bit different, and actually looks pretty nice. Um, they haven't done that before, or at least to my knowledge. But you can see here that the uh, control panel is once again uh, completely overhauled. We have a, now this looks even more uh, like a, a Windows Vista than it, it did before because Windows Vista's uh, control panel is laid out pretty similar to this, at least the category view was. Um, so yeah, they were kind of trying to move towards that direction. Um, you can see that it kind of scales. It's well, not really. <laughs> I was just about to say that, and this happened. So no, it doesn't really scale. Actually, yeah, I, I guess it kind of does actually, because if you have it this small, it just has the the icons here that you click on for each category. But the yeah, it doesn't really work that well. You know, you could do that if you wanted to. I mean, this being able to like scale one app, you know, and like having it for like four different types of like like for your pc your tablet and your phone obviously wasn't really a thing at this time um but yeah so we have all of our options here laid out in a nice way we also have the old classic view and i believe they have gotten rid of the 
categories within the classic view. However, it's not loading for whatever reason. Oh, it's hanging. Okay. Um, yeah, something very... Th this build, um, while I've been using it, seems to be pretty unstable. Alright, so yeah, as I was just saying, it's very unstable and Windows Explorer crashed, so that's nice. We're probably going to have to restart again. We'll try that again. So we'll go into Control Panel, Classic View. If it crashes again, I'm guessing we're not going to take a look at what Classic View looks like. I guess it's broken. Uh, which it looks like it's, yep. Yep, and it's going to crash. Alright, so it looks like we're not going to be able to take a look at what the classic view of the control panel looks like. Um, so we're just going to have to move on to our next item on the list, which is Windows Explorer. Got a pretty uh, minor change as well. I think this looks pretty similar to the way it did before. Some of these icons do look a little bit different though. Um, yeah, Windows Explorer just seems to be... Yeah, now, now this is frozen. Alright, so my first uh, impressions of this build is that it is incredibly unstable. So I'm probably going to make this demo pretty quick here. If we go into Windver here, it still says Longhorn up here. Um, so yeah, they, they haven't really touched up a lot of the minor things yet. But everything else pretty much has been changed to say Vista. Um, and you'll see that this is still identifying itself as a Longhorn right here. And if we go into the computer properties, you'll see that it also is still calling itself Longhorn here as well. Microsoft Windows codename Longhorn version 2005, because um, this is a 2005 build. So yeah, I I'm pretty much going to end it off here for this build because it's pretty unstable and Windows Explorer has crashed about 15 times in the past five minutes. Okay, so we get this thing actually. I, I thought it was just like a, a one-click button. But we get this thing where it'll be like a timer. It says Windows is going to shut down in like 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, they what for whatever reason they didn't keep that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to shut down now. So yeah, that is that is pretty nice. Like I, I guess if you click shut down and you accidentally click it or, or something. All right, so now we're going to move on to a hopefully more stable build or uh, second to last. This is Longhorn 5308. I'm going to start this up here. Um, now this build also got uh, a new um, out of box experience. It also has uh, a new, um, I almost said a new blue screen. It has uh, a new boot screen here, a very uh, minimal style uh, boot screen, which is very similar to Windows Vista's very minimal boot screen. So I never really understood why they went with such a minimal design. You'll see we have uh, the Windows startup orb there. And yeah, uh, a new uh, welcome screen design new setup design came with that as well i'll have some footage overlay and yeah we actually have sound working in this one we didn't have sound last time um but yeah sound is working we still have the xp sounds obviously they haven't finalized those um but yeah so that is that is pretty much all of the uh major changes with the setup and the welcome screen everything like that hopefully if uh, windows explorer decides to launch here we'll get into some of the visual user noticeable changes but um, that might take a while all right so uh, windows explorer finally decided to launch here and you'll see that we have a, a new feature the uh, welcome center now this was brought over into vista and basically what it is that this would um, start up when you first um, turned on your uh, windows vista machine for the first time and if you did not uncheck this box it would start up every time um, but yeah, this this looks pretty similar actually. Uh, it has like the same background gradient thing, and it just basically shows uh, information about like what version of Vista that you're running, uh, your like you know processor, memory, video adapter, you know model number, stuff like that. Who made the actual machine, and your activation status, which like all other betas, we don't actually have it activated. But um, yeah, you'll see that some of the icons here still look you know, like the same uh, XP icon, so that, you know, they were still working on that, obviously. Um, but yeah, pretty much this is uh, a good representation of the final Welcome Center. Um, you'll also notice that the Start button down here has been changed to the Orb, and the word Start has been taken off. This is a, again, a pretty accurate representation of the final um, build, or, or the final Start menu in Vista. Uh, so they may have made some minor tweaks to it, throughout like the rest of its uh, development cycle but this is pretty much final um, to be honest same with uh, the start menu right here looks pretty final as well 
these were the buttons that I was talking about when I was saying like about uh, the shutdown timer. So yeah, we have uh, all of our programs in here, obviously. We'll go into, oh, that was a, okay, network. Yeah, some of these icons, like, like look at the icon, like, up above the word Michael. Like, that looks, like, not, not like Windows Vista at all. I mean, some of these do, but whatever this thing is and whatever that thing is, is not, that was not in Windows Vista at all. Um, See, so yeah, they're obviously working with the icons, I guess. We have uh, your user folder here. Obviously, uh, the uh, libraries feature they're working on at the time has been you know, taken off, it's been, they, they, they basically scrapped it because it wasn't really working that well. So it's back to just, you know, standard folders and everything. We'll open up my computer here. And this also looks pretty final, to be honest, pretty similar to Vista. Um, some of the uh, colors down here, and this bar looks more glossy than it did in Vista. I know I'm just pointing out the little things, but in these later builds, there's not that much that is different. Uh, or usually, I mean, this is a pretty, this is 5308 and Vista's final build was 6000. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty close to, to the final release here. And this is also a beta 2 build, so it means we're, we're even closer. Um, so, yeah, we'll open up the uh, control panel. Um, this got a brief, like, the side panel here pretty much is the only thing that's changed. We have a, like a nice little Windows logo there. These options are the same as before. Classic view actually works this time, which is nice. Um, and we can go in here and view all your classic icons. Yeah, so apparently, I don't know what it was before, but the classic view just wasn't really working. But there are a few new things they've added into the classic view. One of them is BitLogger Drive encryption. Um, and, oh yeah, there's this thing also called user account control. I'm sure we all know what this is. Um, this was actually in the last build, but because the build was so unstable and I couldn't get to the setting, I wasn't able to uh, demonstrate it. But yeah, this is what um, user account control looks like. It's, you know, pretty pretty simple. I'm sure we all have used this before. You just click on allow, and then you get uh, permission to, you give yourself your own permission to do something. But you know, it was just something added as like an extra layer of uh, like um, you know security, so that viruses can't run programs and things like that. Um, so yeah, a BitLocker drive encryption basically encrypts your drive. That's pretty much what it does. Um, I think this was a Windows Vista Ultimate only feature. So because this is Windows Vista Ultimate um, or a build of Windows Vista Ultimate, that's why they were able to uh, see it. Um, but yeah, we can obviously you know get get help content here. Like, how would you you know do this? Um, apparently, a topic isn't found actually. And one of the things that I've been noticing is that they were going for a, a green design. Uh, Windows Vista doesn't even have this, this blue design. It has like a lighter blue, I, I, I think. But yeah, they were kind of going back and forth between this green and this blue color, and they didn't use either of them. They used a whole different type of blue. So yeah, that's just something I found kind of interesting. Um, some other things in here, I think a disk defragmenter um, is is new. It's called the defrag UI. This is yeah the uh, automatic defragmenter. This is something that they was new in Vista Windows XP. You know it would like open up this whole, like th I, th I think it was in the uh, Microsoft Management Console, and you would look in there, like you know this. I mean. Oh, look at that the the search thing actually works that's that's nice but the um, like it would open up in a window like this I think it was part of uh, the uh, Microsoft management co uh, console and it would show you like more detailed uh, stuff about defragmenting your drive but this version is newer it's more you know streamlined and it's also automatic and you can modify uh, you know like what schedule that you want to do it on so you know easy for the average user you know, and it's probably, I, I think in Vista, it was set like by default to happen on like, on like, you know, once a week or once a month or something, which is good for your drives. Um, we also have something right here, which is called programs, which shows things, I, I guess it's just programs. I don't know, but there, there's no icon for it, but you go in and there's like add programs, advanced options. Um, I don't know why these are put in, this is a weird way to like, nap like <laughs> just to do this uh windows update you'll see oh yeah windows 
Windows Ultimate Extras. Windows Update and Windows Ultimate Extras. Um, Ultimate Extras was a thing. Like, it, it, it actually did happen in Vista. Um, and it was just like a few extra features and programs that you would get because you bought Windows Vista Ultimate. Um, so yeah, this obviously do, you know, do, doesn't work because there's no updates available for this build. But this looks pretty similar to the final uh, Windows Update UI that was in Windows Vista. So that is nice. Um, and yeah, here's just, just the thing about Ultimate Extras. You get some cutting edge programs, innovative services, and tips and tricks. Because you know, you don't get tips and tricks. You have to buy Ultimate. To get those tips and tricks, you don't get them with you just like the home basic edition. That's 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 not a thing. You gotta spend ultimate. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's ultimate extras. Um, and yeah, we were back in the control panel. Got closed out of. It's kind of laid out differently. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how the uh, classic view looks. Oh yeah, there's also this uh, Windows Defender with this weird icon that I guess is like a placeholder icon. Uh, Windows Defender is a new program in all of its glory right here. I'm sure we all know about Windows Defender. It was uh, scrapped in Windows 7 because people didn't really like it so much because it was a memory hog from what I remember. Um, but yeah, they changed it out with uh, a version. It was still called Windows Defender, I think, but it was called, Myer or they called it, uh, it looked just like Microsoft Security Essential. I think that was in Windows 8, actually. Windows 7 had something different. It was a, a different version of uh, Windows Defender. But this version in Vista, it was apparently a, a, a pretty big memory hog from what I remember. I'm not 100% sure of that. But yeah, it's just a, a built-in antivirus. Um, so yeah, that is that is that. Um, and there's been some like minor UI changes. Uh, you'll notice there's still a lot of XP references here. Um, We'll just run WinVert here. We'll see that Windows Vista, it has a new like banner image up here. It's actually calling itself Windows Vista now and we'll open up the uh, system. And, and the system actually has a whole new design as well. This was something that wasn't in the uh, previous build because if you uh, re remember we opened that up and it looked like you know the same as the XP one. Well, this looks just like the Vista um, you know, system panel where it would show you more like information, and I think pretty much the thing Microsoft was trying to go for with this uh, newer uh, like control panel is to have everything contained in this one window. Like you wouldn't be opening up like for example when I open up Taskbar and uh, Start Menu, it opens up this like separate window, and I'm guessing they were kind of trying to just like you know unify that into one window. So that's why that like they kind of because you know system when you would open it it would it, it, it would uh, bring up one of these windows. Um, previously, now it just like just kind of advances you to the next page, sort of, in a uh, control panel, and you can go back to it by clicking the back button or by actually clicking this button up here. So yeah, that's just what I think they were kind of trying to go uh, for. But you'll see that we still have the XP icon over here. They haven't changed that yet. But you'll see that it is uh, being called Windows Vista Ultimate Edition version 6.0. But yeah, that is pretty. Oh, Windows Explorer is going to crash again. So that's nice. And yeah, that is, that's pretty much um, this build. I'm just going to shut this down. You, you'll see we don't have that timer thing anymore. It just automatically shuts down when I click on the shutdown button. So they, you know, quickly took that out. So we're going to move on to our last build for this video, which is 5384. This one I pretty much selected because it looks even more like the final build of Vista. Probably not going to spend that much time on it because of the fact that there's, you know, not that many like major changes like from the research that I've done. Uh, there's not that many minor ch or major changes in this build, but we'll just take a look at the minor ones, and then that will be it for the video. All right, so we're back, and something about this build that I notice is it takes like ten minutes to start up. I don't know why that is, but uh, it does. But we are here. Um, you'll see that the uh, welcome center thing has been changed slightly. Um, also, I've noticed something that will jump out to most people is the sidebar. Uh, the sidebar was a feature that was in Vista, um, but it's not, not really been present um, since the early pre-reset builds. Uh, but this one is back and it has um, you know, some nice uh, aero glass transparency here. Um, 
But that's really, I think, all the aero transparency there is because there's not really like the windows still. And I, I think that's just because I don't have the right drivers installed. I, I don't think that's because they didn't have aero working yet. I'm, I'm pretty sure they had aero working, like aero glass transparency. But it's hard to get drivers for Longhorn builds that, that actually function correctly. So I, I think that's why the, I don't have the right, um, you know, dr uh, like the aero glass isn't working. But. Um, yeah, so we have uh, some of the same widgets that were in the final, or sorry, gadgets. They're not, they're called gadgets. Um, but yeah, here is the sort of gadget selection pane. This is actually a different design than what was the final thing. The stocks, I actually don't think we had a stocks um, or a timer widget. Like, yeah, these are widgets that didn't make it in. And a recycle bin? I'm not sure if we had that either. Um, so yeah, some a few widgets that didn't make it into Vista. The CPU meter also looks a, a little bit different as well. I, I actually like this design better, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so that's the sidebar. It, it actually runs as a program down here. I think it was kind of, or maybe it was down here before. I'm not sure, but we can you know hide it and show it like that. Um, we also have, uh, we'll just go into the uh, control panel here. You'll see that it got kind of changed, you know, before it was that, like, you know, little Windows logo here. Now it's kind of changed to these lines and shrieks or whatever. Um, category view, pretty much the same. Classic view, um, you know, pretty, mu pretty much the same as well. Obviously that thing, you know, two builds ago, or maybe even three builds ago, that, like, category thing within the, cl the uh, classic view, that didn't stay. Um, Windows update looks pretty much the same uh, we'll take a look at the system because I think this is when they kind of yeah this is when they like got like the new logo and that like green like color was is gone now um, so yeah Windows Vista Ultimate 2006 looking more and more like the final build of Vista um, so we'll close out of that um, we have the uh, my computer or the it's just called a uh, uh, computer you know the word my isn't in there in Vista uh, this is looking pretty final as well. Um, a few things. This bar still looks a little bit more glossy than it did, you know, in the final build. But everything else pretty much looks the same. Uh, I know that I'm kind of going fast, but we are kind of like 40 minutes into this clip, and I kind of want to, you know, make this a little bit uh, like shorter than the than the uh, previous video. So. Yeah, um, I'm just kind of trying to go through everything. I, I think that's pretty much um, like the major, you know, or, or like really the only major change was the sidebar besides all those other minor like UI changes. So yeah, we'll just run WinVer here. Something that I always do is to show the version. You'll see that now it's actually saying what, what version it is, Windows Vista Ultimate. I don't think it said that before. Um, but yeah, and it has a different design header thing up here. Uh, obviously, if you're using Windows Vista Home Edition or Home Premium, it would say Home Premium uh, right there, or Windows Vista Business, it would say that. Um, but yeah, Kybra 2006, version 6.0, Beta 2. This is still a Beta 2 build, um, and it, it, it uh, expires in 2007. This is from 2006, so this is getting closer to the final uh, Vista release because Vista was released in uh, 2006. You know, to be honest, it looks pretty much... Uh, very similar to this. I mean, there may, may have been a few things, like a few minor things. There's a few icons you may have seen. They still look like XP. They obviously changed those. But besides that, I mean, this is a this is a pretty, like, almost final build. Um, at least, you know, at, at first glance. Obviously, I'm not going to go, you know, completely in-depth in everything in this video because, you know, that's, like, the whole point is just a brief, you know, look at four different builds. And I'm trying to keep the video kind of short here. Um... But yeah, that is that is pretty much it for build. I think this is five three eight four. Yeah, build five three eight four, and that is going to wrap it up for the post reset builds of Windows Longhorn. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if you didn't see the first video, which was the pre reset builds, I did that. I did that about two weeks ago. Um, definitely go and check that out. There is a link going to be down below in the video description, and also it's going to be obviously on the channel as well, just two videos behind this one. And if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this here on the channel, definitely be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to get notified whenever I upload a new video. 
Um, I upload videos ranging from, you know, any topic uh, having to do with uh, technology. This video was on Windows. I'll sometimes do Mac videos, sometimes, uh, you know, product unboxings, uh, product reviews, uh, other tutorials, things like that. It's all here on this channel. It's kind of a, a uh, variety channel. So for those of you who are new and you aren't subscribed um, and you are interested, definitely uh, hit that button. Um, and that is, yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.